During the Galactic Civil War, the Rebel Alliance had a handful of spies within the confines of the Imperial capital world of Coruscant. Each agent served a vital role in giving intelligence to Rebel High Command, and as such, each of their individual existence was to remain a secret, even among other Rebel agents on Coruscant. One of these agents was a Neb Ray, who was under the guise of an Imperial tax collector. At some point, shortly after the destruction of the first Death Star, Rey was contacted by Princess Leia for an extraction mission on Coruscant. She told him that she wanted him to extract a group of former Imperial Senators who had been imprisoned due to their anti-Imperial stances and were soon to be executed for their crimes against the Empire. Although initially hesitant in accepting the mission, Rey caved in and agreed to take up the challenge of rescuing the Imperial Senators from the Imperial prison complex they were held at. He eventually infiltrated the prison and discovered the holding cell the Senators were being kept at. However, upon meeting the Senators, Rey was told that the Emperor was supposedly coming to personally meet them right before their executions. After learning this new information, the plan had changed, so Rey took over the nearby control center of the prison and took the Imperial tech crew hostage. Upon his surprise, one of the Imperial tech crew members was actually another rebel spy, the one who originally told Rebel High Command of the imprisoned Senators in the first place. She went on to help Rey contact Leia to inform her of the new situation of Palpatine arriving to the prison complex. When Leia answered, Rey told her how Palpatine was going to be within their crosshairs in an hour, and that he wanted to assemble a team to try and assassinate him. Understanding that the only way to properly assemble a team needed to accomplish the new mission in such a short notice would be to dispatch all the other rebel spies on Coruscant, Leia considered the massive risk this plan was if undertaken. If it failed, then all of their agents' identities on Coruscant were going to be exposed. But if it succeeded, then the entire war could be won far quicker without the Emperor in charge. She finally made her decision. The new plan on assassinating the Emperor was to commence. An hour had gone by, and all rebel agents on Coruscant had arrived to the prison complex, all disguised as the senators who were supposed to meet Palpatine before their execution. Once they saw Palpatine, all six agents dropped the ruse and began to fire at the nearby guards with their blasters. Just a side note, these were some of the Rebel Alliance's highest trained and most talented agents, so they were able to quickly drop most of the guards with ease, and were even able to take out at least one royal guard. However, as the assault continued, the apparent Palpatine began to escape by having his platform rise toward the open rooftop. Seeing what was happening, Rey latched onto the platform and followed the Emperor. On top of the roof, Rey shot at the fleeing Emperor and hit him dead on in the back. A killing blow it was. As he walked toward the corpse of the supposed Emperor he had just killed, Rey heard a voice call out from behind. It was Palpatine, standing inside an Imperial shuttle that was right over the rooftop of the prison. Palpatine was a bit disappointed seeing his decoy not make it out alive, but nonetheless remained still, watching what was happening below him. Rey was shocked, not at the fact that he had only killed a decoy, but of the fact of how the real Palpatine came here knowing he would be in danger of assassination. Not wanting this entire mission to be a complete waste, Rey dashed toward the shuttle the real Palpatine was on and latched onto it. Still believing he had a chance of killing the Emperor, Rey fired his blaster at him, but Palpatine easily deflected all the blaster shots with the Force. Palpatine then began to smile and told Rey to look behind him. He did just that and witnessed the entire prison complex go up into flames as it exploded right before him. All the agents that were with him perished, along with the senators and other prisoners who were held there. It was at that moment he realized the evil he was truly facing, and that he never had a chance of ever beating the Emperor. Before Rey could make any moves to escape, Palpatine blasted him with Force Lightning, causing him to fall. But before he fell to his death, Rey was able to latch on to an oncoming airspeeder. When he safely reached the ground, Rey saw a hollow vid of the Emperor announcing the destruction of the prison complex. He placed the blame of its destruction as an act of rebel terrorism. The Emperor stated that the traitorous senators were coerced by the rebels, and before they could be given a fair trial by the Empire, the rebels just blew them up alongside with everyone else in the prison. For the rebels cared not for justice and order, and were savage monsters. With all the rebel spies on Coruscant eliminated, anti-imperial senators removed from the public, and a great propaganda piece against the rebel alliance, it was quite a victory for Palpatine. It was also a devastating defeat for Rey, who after realizing how he was played, had his entire image himself be shattered. He later became a rogue rebel agent, 
who would go on to cause some havoc for the Rebel Alliance later on in his life. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lore Master. Be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars lore videos like these in the future. And may the Force be with you.